Hi, I'm Mark Bunker. If you haven't done so yet, I urge you to go to tampabay.com to read the Tampa Bay Times cover story about Scientology's near domination of downtown Clearwater. In the past three years, Scientology has doubled its footprint in the downtown area. And they did so in seeming retribution after the city refused to sell a piece of property to David Miscavige that Scientology wanted for their campus, but the city felt that they really needed for their waterfront project, Imagine Clearwater. Now, when David Miscavige was snubbed, he shut down all communications with the city and decided to do things his way. And that included, according to newspaper reports at the time, telling Scientologists not to shop at downtown businesses in retribution for the snub. And this is nothing new. When David Miscavige is upset with a business, he can and will punish it. There was an Italian restaurant a few doors away from the Lisa McPherson Trust in downtown Clearwater. This is where I worked when I moved here in 2000, trying to help people who were abused or defrauded by Scientology. In an article in the then St. Pete Times, the reporter talked about how the, this restaurant, this Italian restaurant right next door, sent over a bottle of wine and some bruschetta as a welcome to the neighborhood gift. And the word went out to Scientologists, don't eat at that restaurant. And it hurt their business. And ultimately, they closed. Scientology uses strong-arm tactics all the time. When Bob Minton was trying to just lease a space for the Lisa McPherson Trust, Scientology would go to every place he talked to and intervene and prevent us from leasing. Bob eventually had to buy a building. And even then, after Bob had shook hands to make the deal, Scientology came in and tried to strong arm the owner of the place to sell the building to them. They doubled Mr. Minton's offer that he and I had shook hands on. We've committed to a deal based on our word and our handshake and our gentleman's agreement. And he said, you know, it's a done deal. Now, much of the property downtown has been purchased by some individual Scientologists, and they've been sitting on these properties with buildings that are, are largely left empty. Scientology has a plan. We just don't know what it is yet. Most of the city council seems concerned about it, except, of course, for Dr. Bob Cundiff, who says, uh, you know, it's kind of like what Walt Disney did in Orlando. You buy up a lot of property under the radar, and then boom, you got a Walt Disney World. I don't think we're getting a Walt Disney World. <laughs> We've got something very, very different popping up here in Clearwater. If the Scientologists become terrific landlords and businesses boom downtown, well, that's terrific. But I have a feeling we're going to be hearing lots of stories about how it works the other way, where if you do something that pisses off, Scientology, or specifically David Miscavige, there's hell to pay. And that's the dilemma. We don't know what's coming next. The city can just hope for the best, but that's what they've been doing so far. And that's how Scientology doubled their footprint, because we weren't paying attention. David Miscavige decided to cut off communication with the city council knowing that in 2020, many of the people on the board would be gone, and maybe they'd find more compliant uh, members that they can work with on the council. We can't let that happen. We can't have an entire city council made up of Bob Cundiffs who just think, oh, hey, hey, we could have Splash Mountain downtown. Walt Disney could be coming now. No, no, that's not going to happen. We've got to know how Scientology operates. We've got to be on top of our game. We should be tapping into resources like Mike Rinder, for God's sakes. For years I've been saying, talk to Mike Rinder. He knows how Scientology views the city. He knows what they're planning. And, and yet the city has refused to sit down with him. We have got to stay on guard, and we have to understand Scientology. And that's why I ask you to support me for Clearwater City Council in 2020. My name is Mark Bunker.
thank you.